Session two. Okay, this, so this is part two of the train. We're gonna get into some sculpting, and we're gonna use the train toolkit uh, 1.0.2. And I don't know where to find it anymore on the Unity uh, website. So maybe I'll attach it to this video or something for you guys watching from home. Anyway, we have this. Uh, you guys all have this on your desktop now. So we're gonna go back inside of Unity. We're gonna go assets, import package. Custom, you got it. And then that's gonna be on our desktop, right? So, assets, import package, custom, train toolkit, open. Oh, it's in a folder, sorry. And then open it. Import, shouldn't take too long. So it's got a, this whole list of assets. They should all be selected by default and then just hit import. Um, yeah, so that the window will open and then you just hit all and then import. So, sorry, I said that wrong. So it's assets, import, package, custom package. Okay, so we're going to have that. And if you look under your, under the project folder, under the assets, it's going to be all the way down here, train toolkit. And there's a little readme right there. You can double click on that and you can read it right here. Um, but basically, all we need to do is grab the script and place it on on the uh, terrain. So we'll grab the terrain here, and if I'm remember, did I just throw this whole? Yeah. So I just grab this whole folder and drag, and you can just drag and drop it right onto the terrain. This the terrain toolkit. Okay, so I did read that. So we have to grab, so if you select the terrain, you can just drag the script right onto the terrain. Can't add script. I shouldn't have to. There you go. So it's the C-sharp one. Yeah, well, what, what you were saying is true, Mike. You can do it that way. You can do it either way. You should be able to drag it right onto the terrain, or you can click Add Component. I don't know why the JavaScript didn't come up, but the C-sharp did, so... Um, I grabbed, this, grabbed the C sharp and dropped it right onto the terrain, yeah. And that works, or you can grab the C sharp and drag it over into the inspector. Or you can click add component right here and go scripts and find it. Okay. So, all right, so this guy here is, is uh, it's going to deliver a little bit more power to creating um, our terrain. So we have, obviously we have create, and then we've got um, Veroni, Fractal, Perlin, all these extra features here. Um, this is just really, just kind of mess with these, and when you click on it, you can undo and stuff, but uh, most of the time, yeah, I don't have these things memorized, but if you click, um, I click general, fract. so this one's just gonna do a general mountain scene kind of to the whole area. I don't know if you can undo these. Doesn't look like it. Can you? Undo. Yeah, okay, there we go. Undo. So, yeah, so some of these are going to going to sculpt your entire terrain. Some of these when you have a terrain on there, it'll add like the erode, if we go to erode, it's going to keep your general formation and it's just going to erode some of these. So, there's different different ways where it will erode. It'll have a minimum slope, a fall off and stuff. Like I said, this is just, it's trial, you know, just trial and error, really. So I added a thermal erosion, so it should keep my general mountain shape and then just add some erosion into there. Didn't look like it do a whole lot. But anyway, I think I'm really just trying to expose kind of what these guys are, are uh, going to do. Um, Brush on and off. Yeah, we can brush and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, I probably should have waited till we got some texture on there. But either way. Uh, all right, I'm going to go. I'm back in these other, these these default tools, the basic ones. And, whoops. So we'll go, we'll finish across these buttons. Sorry. We, the train toolkit's really cool. We'll get back into it too, right, when, after we get some... Uh, some of the colors on here, some of the paintings on here. I guess I'm trying to just build up some of this mountain area so we get a little bit of variety in the slope.
Okay, so I got a little bit of variety in here, but uh, all right, so let's move, move on to this, uh, the fourth one over here, which is our textures. So um, if to get any textures, by default, none of these come loaded in. So you select on the brush, and you've got to go to Edit Textures right here, and then Add Texture. Yep, yep. So Unity 4.0 has a couple, a little bit of a new uh, feature here. So you got to select either because we have uh, we have the capability of having normal map on our textures now. So either way, we're going to go to Texture and you know select right here, and this is going to show you all the textures that you have currently in the scene. Because we loaded the default package, I think we've got three textures to choose from, maybe four. There's, so there's cliff layer, there's good dirt, grass hill, and grass and rock. So the first texture that you bring in, it's going to flood your terrain with that texture. So I'm going to click on grass hill, double click that, and just hit add. I'm going to leave the normal maps for now. But grass hill, and then I'm going to add it. So again, it's going to flood your texture with that first one that you select which is no big deal. This is going to be really easy to kind of paint off or add or whatever. So for to start, I'm just going to do start with like four basic textures. So to load these in, we got to go back to edit textures, add texture, select right here, and then I'm going to add uh, good dirt, double click, hit add, and it's going to just kind of put a list of the icons right here in your textures. So again, texture, add texture, select it right here, get my cliff layer, hit add. I wonder if these by default have, yeah, these default ones don't have normals. So we'll, we'll deal with the normals later. Um, add and the last one I'm going to get is the mix, the combo. Grass and rock. Okay, so we got four of these in here. Go back to my kind of basic brush. Um, and one of the things I do when I'm doing just terrains is go all the way up to this uh, this top up here, and you, we've got the 2 by 3 selected, um, which is fine. But So right now, I've modified this a little bit, uh, my work layout, so I can go Save Layout, and I'm just going to I'm gonna click, uh, I'm just going to call this uh, Work, I don't know, for lack of a better term. Work, Save, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the game window, and I'm going to, oh, I'm going to, Kind of free it, and then I'm going to close that game window. And I'm going to pull the hierarchy panel off. Whoops. And then close that one. I'm going to pull the project window off until it floats, and I'm going to close this one and go all the way over. So now I really have just this layout is really just for sculpting terrain. So I'm going to go back up under my layout thing uh, panel and call and go save layout again. I'm going to call this one terrain. So now I have my terrain layout, and if I want to go back and I'm adding, you know, whatever characters, or I want to go back to, I can just go drop down over here into work, and so it goes into my other layout. Is that dope or what? That's sweet. So terrain, and now we're working on this uh, in our terrain. We've got these four ones picked out, and we're still on our brush. So if we go now, if I go to the good dirt, um, there is brush size, there's opacity, and then there's target strength. And the opacity is the same as we had before. Um, the brush is as you would see through, and then the target strength like multiplies this opacity. Is, that's my best description as I know of. But so anyway, so we have this opacity at 31, and we can paint um, dirt right over these guys. I can do it really light so that the grass still shows through. I know there's got to be a hotkey for this brush size, so if someone gets it, let me know. You couldn't find it online either? I know there's a hotkey for it. Yeah, it's not working for me. B doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, okay, so we can paint with this guy, and obviously we can select to the, the cliffs. So we've got some dirt on the ground. I can zoom in and paint, you know, my cliff texture on these. Right around the steeper areas. And my rock and dirt maybe halfway through. Yeah, this will blend. If you look really close, it, it, it's blending it. You just got to turn down the opacity down here and then the target strength a little bit. 
and it'll blend right on there for you. There aren't, no, there's no layers, but you can blend, and last time I looked it up in Unity, you can blend four different textures over one area, and then I think it, it'll start dropping them out after that, but. So, okay, so that's, this is, a, you know, kind of the, the hand way to do it, which can be really fun. I have a lot of fun with terrains and textures and stuff, so. All right, and now, and the fifth one over is gonna be our trees with the uh, tree icon. So, trees by default, there's nothing loaded. I think the only one that comes loaded by default is our palm tree. Now this is the layout that uh, was similar to Maya Three Points series in that there's none selected. You've gotta go to this tiny little circle right here to add any trees, which is, you'll get used to it because Unity you know, does this for everything. But click on that one and yeah, we have one tree that comes in our default scene. So we'll start with that one. Double click on the palm. And then the bend factor is actually you can increase. So if the palm trees want to sway and bend in the wind and stuff, you can change this um, value later. So for right now, I'm going to put it at like 0.5 or something. And then hit add. And what happens with the trees is when you paint, it's going to paint just a bunch of them on um, right at once. So depending on your brush size, it's going to just paint these all over. Um, and then, you know, actually it has a different, you can slide the density of these trees around, the color variation, the tree height uh, variation on those. So I can set it at like 100 and then do an extreme variation. So I should have a bunch of different sizes. Holding shift after you already have trees down will delete them. So you can kind of clean through them. Um, yeah, that's cool. It didn't really have a whole lot of this variety uh, to start before. So, um, okay, so that's the basic tree. And I'll show you guys how to get different trees loaded in here down the way. But we can also, if you're so inclined, we can go up to um, terrain button again. And you can, there's a, there's a drop down icon that says mass place trees. So we can click on this and say how many trees do you want to place. So let's try 10,000. And boom. So what what the mass place trees does is it tries to put these trees on the flatter areas and stay away from the slopes. So it kind of tries to do some kind of a natural mass place trees, but a mask not that I know of. Um, that's a good question. Not that I know of. I mean, all I, all I can think of it to do is go back through and then shrink your brush size down and then say you had like a trail or something it, that you want to remove these. Just hold shift and then go back through and kind of delete these through your... Tr yeah, yeah, if you... That's a good question. So the variation slider will automatically do um, work. And like I said, that it's new to 4.0, so I don't see massive variations in these trees, although the colors look pretty... Let's turn the color up, the tree height all the way up, and the tree width. And then back out. And delete these. And then I'm going to zoom back in and see. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of variety in the trunk size and stuff. Definitely color variety. So, like I said, that one's, it's kind of new, so. Okay, so, clean up some of these areas here a little bit. All right, so, and then our, the next one over is our, our little flower bouquet thing. And basically this is for grass and brushes and stuff. I think we have at least one, maybe two different types of grass in here. So, again, when, once that one's selected, you got to go to Edit Details, and we'll add a grass texture. And you got to hit this tiny little circle right here so we can find one. And then we've got grass and grass 2. So, go with grass 2. And add. Well, this you got to be kind of careful with this grass because it can... Uh, it can be taxing on the game engine for sure, but this will mass place down <clears throat> some grass, I thought. What's that? Oh, right, so the, the LOD is set 
on this graph, so sometimes you got to zoom in to see this. And we can tweak those settings um, as well. All right, so the we got we so we can find more um, assets. So these are basically the general little free ones that come with Unity. So, but to get more assets, you guys we have to log into the asset store. So to get to the asset store, it's going to be Window uh, Asset Store right here, or Control Nine. So you guys should all make an account if you don't have one. It's just an email address, and this is where you can find. I mean, all kinds of stuff to help other projects. There's paid for stuff. There are. There's a ton of free assets on here as well. So, um, so like right now, we're looking for some terrain assets. So up at the top, um, I can search through, and I'll just search through uh, terrain. And a lot of these are paid. You'll see there's a bunch of them paid. But this one right here, terrain assets. 3D models vegetation that's free. This one I believe is provided by Unity, but if we, oh, and there's more, there's some advanced terrain shaders that are free. I think these are Unity created. Um, so if I click on that, it's gonna give me some more information up here. Yeah, it's by Unity Technologies. And, man, this machine's kinda choking. Yeah, so, and then when you scroll down, it'll show you all these brushes it has. It tells you what comes in the package. So there's going to be a bunch. It's got, it looks like, seven different bushes. Got some trees, weeds, grass, cliff textures, all this good stuff. So, uh, wow, am I signed in? No. Yeah, I did the just the terrain assets. Start with that one because this has got a, a, quite a few assets in there. You can go with the advanced shaders too. But So when I hit download, it's going to ask me to log in. If you haven't done so, create an account. It's just going to ask for an email. And um, you're going to use the asset store a lot, so definitely create one. And password... So everybody was able to get the terrain assets? All right, we'll speed up a little bit. So, all right, so we have those. And now when you go into, uh, let's go back to our terrain and say um, trees. And we say edit trees, add tree, and then this little circle thing again. So now we've got a bunch more trees we can add in. Um, Scott's pine, Scott's pine narrow. We got a rock. Rocks are going to be under trees. I don't know why I didn't design it. Yo. 